uh, there's a hurricane that's headed straight for us. There's a lot of things you gotta do for a hurricane. We're doing hurricane shutters. So I'm getting sandbags. Nice. We are on our way in now to get Ryan's haircut. It's a it's hurricane haircut, but I think we're about as ready as we can be. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's vlog. I am Jill, and this is It's the Donnellys. I am driving right now, so I'm not going to look at you unless I stop at a red light. But anyway, um, I am talking to you, though. So we, to keep you update on what's going on, it is Hurricane Ian is going to be slamming into probably my backyard um, in about 24 hours. Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday. No, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit more than 24 hours, maybe 36 hours. So today's Tuesday and it's supposed to start raining this tomorrow afternoon. Wait, I can't remember now. Shoot. Wait, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. So it's going to start raining, I think, tomorrow afternoon. We're cloudy today and then um, it's going to happen, I guess, through the middle of the night and they keep like the... As the days go forward, they keep changing and, and honing in on what its actual path is going to be and it started out being kind of up north by and to hit where Katie and Brennan are going to college and then as the days go on it goes farther and farther south to where we are so it's going to smack right now the predictions are as it, it's going to smack right into our house. Anyway, so this is what we're doing. Now, we are no strangers to hurricanes. We lived in Maryland and we had hurricanes. I happen to think, however, that Florida has a different breed of hurricane. So we are doing a little bit more than, I don't know, I guess than we have in the past. We're going to get sandbags. I'm going right now to get sandbags. So for those of you who don't know, who are don't know about flooding or whatever, but sandbags, um, if you place them at the entrance of any, any place where water could come in your house, it tends to um, delay and hold back water. I mean, if it gets, if the water gets too high over the sandbags, that's one thing, but the sandbags are about that tall, so it's, I think, so it's going to be about six inches of, of uh, safeness. Now, we've done sandbags before, actually. We did sandbags in Maryland one time and it worked really well. So I'm going to get sandbags and my parents aren't here. My parents live here, but they're not here right now. They always miss all the good stuff. They missed COVID. They're missing this. So they are, um, we are getting sandbags for them too. And you can only get 10 sandbags per car with your ID saying that you live in the county. Um, so I'm getting sandbags for one house and Mike's going to follow up um, in, a co in about a half an hour and get sandbags for another house. Ryan is right now at his friend's house helping them put up their hurricane shutters. It'd be nice if he came out and helped us put up our hurricane shutters, but um, I don't think Mike's going to do that. Um, so this is the thing. A hurricane shutter is like a um, when we bought our house, they came with our house. They're in the garage and they're long pieces of metal that, that Okay, that was Ryan. Yes, he is at Ethan's house and they are putting up hurricane shutters. I thought he was at Trevor's house, but he's at Ethan's house. They're putting up hurricane shutters. So anyway, so hurricane shutter, the shutters are these long like metal things that, that um, on your house, if, if you've been fitted for hurricane shutters on your house, you actually have little knobbies and the hurricane shutters go on and they fit on the knobbies and then you screw the outside and um, put them in. Hey, I have a picture of a guy doing hurricane shutters in my neighborhood. So I will put that in right now. There you have it. And then maybe you'll get to see Ryan's. All right, so anyway, I'm on my way to get um, bags yesterday. If you saw yesterday's vlog, we got gas and food. Brendan and Katie were gonna come back because their school was canceled from Tuesday through Friday. And then they, of course, they have Saturday, Sunday. But um, <laughs> they all kind of decided that they wanted to stay there. If the electricity goes out, they want to be with like other friends, which is cool. Katie didn't want to. Kate wants to come home because she likes to be in the eye of the hurricane. Katie loves storms. She got that from Mike. That Mike loves storms. So she wanted to like travel to the storm instead of evacuate from the storm. Um, but nobody else wanted to. So she's stuck in Tallahassee, which is fun. She'll have a good time. Um, and, and they're far away enough from the storm that I think they'll get some residuals, but not like we're going to get. So anyway, stay tuned and uh, I'll show you uh, what the rest of our preparation looks like. What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? It's your favorite Donnelly and it's your favorite guest star. Hey guys, it's Ethan. Uh, okay, so if you guys know anything about what's happening, uh, there's a hurricane that's headed straight for us because we live in Florida now. Uh, and there's a lot of things you gotta do for a hurricane. I didn't realize. I thought you just kind of sat inside with popcorn and watched as like the storm went by. 
and September twenty uh, seventh is today. Is today one day before the hurricane is supposed to hit? Tomorrow. So we're prepping. We're doing hurricane shutters, which yes. is essentially just these big metal sheets mm -hmm. that you put over your windows to keep from debris and different, you know, stuff flying around and going exactly. through your windows. So and um, then you know you lose some power. So you just gotta get stocked up and all this stuff. So we're actually exactly. doing our shutters right now. So we'll show you guys. So me and my mom stocked up food yesterday and we're, you know, trying to charge our phones as much as we can. But here's the, here's the progress. We got Trevi up there. He's just the, the absolute drill master. Scott is over there. His mistress, his mom. And uh, okay, so these are essentially what they are. There's just big metal sheets that go over your window to protect everything. Anyway, um, we're gonna keep, <laughs> keep pulling out. <laughs> we're gonna keep uh, putting these up, and then I don't know. I don't even know if we're putting them up at my house, but um, yeah, we're just helping out over here. It's gonna be a good time. There are a lot of cars here, and let's see. Well, there's community shovels too. There's a bunch of bags and you just fill up the same bags. Bring them to your car. All right, you guys, they gave me these 10 bags and then I grabbed the shovel. There's community shovels. So they brought those, then you just shovel it right in your bag. dad's house and Mike is moving all their outdoor furniture inside. It's another day we should sell, Joe. Yes, it is, Mike. You're excelling amazingly. I've got the sandbags. We're putting those along the door. There's my boys. There's Trevor, Ethan. Thank you, Ryan. Is it just the three of you? Uh, oh. Scott's over there. Scott? I don't know Scott yet. Hi Scott, thank you so much. No you guys are amazing. Perfect. Oh my uh, gosh. My floor and furniture, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> looks like now so this is all the little I've heard. hi guys do you know what's happening it's gonna be so exciting we're gonna cuddle up together okay so you don't need to worry about a thing so this is all our lanai furniture mike might have already filmed this but that's okay and then this is what the lanai looks like without all the furniture and i think he's putting up i don't know is he putting up the hurricane shutters here these are the remember i was telling you before about the hurricane shutters they're long things and then these are on the outside of every door and every window and you unscrew them i think you put the hurricane shutter up and then you screw it back in i think that's how that goes but he was going to do our um bedroom window which oh hi alice that's going to be next look at that are they going up pretty easily very easily wonderful yeah. it was oh, nice that our house came easily, well okay do you need help with from Ryan? Yes. Okay, I'll send him out. <laughs> it's easier to do it when it's not windy out, right? <laughs> What's that? You have five pieces up so far, or four? Uh, four. This is five. Five and final. Nice. 
nice. That's great, Mike. How about that? Yeah. It has already started raining, you guys, today. I don't know if this is part of the actual hurricane or if this is just a random storm that's happening. But um, we are on our way in now to get Ryan's haircut. It's his hurricane haircut. Because yep. like I said, you can't go through a hurricane. I'm going to cross in front of you because my arm is this way. Oh, gross. You can't go through a hurricane with big hair because what if it, the wind picked you up and blew you away because of all your hair? I mean, it's only logical. Exactly. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Closed due to inclement weather. Are you kidding? We have called around. I can't even tell you how many haircut places we have called and they're all closed. I mean, I'm, I guess I'm not that surprised, but like it's still okay right now. There's really, so maybe, maybe you are gonna get, we're just gonna have to tie you down. Maybe we'll get blown away. <laughs> tie me to the house. Yeah. Weird. Um, uh, we'll try another place across the, across the thing and then I think right. we're done. All right. We came home from trying to get a haircut for Ryan and he completely fell asleep in the car. He said he didn't stay up late last night at his hurricane sleepover party with his, with his friends. But um, anyway, he must have been exhausted. I totally get that. So we came home, made some dinner, answered a few texts and uh, questions from friends and watched a lot of updates on the news about the hurricane. It looks like the path is gonna go um, a little bit south of us, just a teensy bit south. We're still in the main cone, but it looks like the main landfall might be a little bit south of us. So my prayers and um, and goodwill go to everybody in Florida who is in the path of this hurricane and, and the, the, um, the cone they're calling it. Um, but I think we're about as ready as we can be. We have all of our Lanai furniture in here. We have, um, we don't have hurricane shutters on every window, but just, um, cause we don't have a lot of windows anyway, but, but just the, the real big one that we thought might get the most. I'm making some food. This is, uh, when we went shopping yesterday at Costco, this is some pork. I'm making some, um, shredded pork. I'm going to do pulled pork. So we'll have that in the refrigerator tonight. I made some, um, chicken parmesan we have that in the refrigerator so we'll have some food and oh i need to put some bottles in the freezer before i go to bed i'm gonna get bottles of water anyway so today was um an interesting day a good day an interesting day but what made me happy today was i would say um sort of everything coming together getting the sandbags um like getting the hurricane shutters up like just sort of feeling feeling prepared so hopefully we are. So comment down below what made you guys happy today. Thank you so much for watching. We can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. We'll be vlogging tomorrow too when the storm is supposed to hit starting tomorrow afternoon. So this will be interesting. Comment below what made you guys happy today and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. For the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.